Good morning, this is Pastor John, and we want to speak to you today about the fall of man for just a little bit and how none of us are free of this. We have a piece of property in Florida that is a little bit off the coast, and right now there is one of the largest hurricanes that has ever been picked up in the Gulf of Mexico coming right toward the property. Now, what is interesting when this happens, it doesn't matter where we're at, as long as we're within that swath, who we are, how big our house is, how strong it is, we all come under the same universal problem. We have a problem we can't solve, and it's called a hurricane. Now, in the Spirit, uh, in Christ Jesus, there's a real clear parallel, and that is that every person on the face of the earth, regardless of who they are, where they came from, and what their pedigree is, what church they went to, how they were raised, have the same universal problem. We are fallen people. We need Jesus. And Paul, I want to stop and look in Romans chapter 3 this morning to get this great truth that Paul takes a lot of time to break out in the first three chapters of the, this great book. And, that, and he is teaching something that we so easily forget. We may not be as bad as someone else, but we are just as bad off as they are because we are in the path of destruction by God apart from the grace of God. Now, in Romans chapter 3, verse, verse 10, I want to read these verses to us. Let's get a simple message where it says, As it is written, there is none righteous. Grab that none righteous. No, not one. There is eleven. There is no one who understands. Grab that no one. And there is no one who seeks God. You keep looking at this, Paul is wanting to build up because it is so easy in every culture to say, we're probably, we Greeks are a little better than the Romans. We Romans are a little better than Greeks. We Jews are a little, little better than them. they all. We Christians are a little better than these other ones. Or our type of Christianity puts us just a little bit better than someone else. And Paul is simply saying, we have the same problem, a hurricane is taking us out unless we have divine protection in Jesus Christ. He goes on, and as he keeps on going, he speaks about all these things that are a part of this inner part of us we can't see. We inherited this from Adam. We've been looking at this in Genesis. Adam falls. But we also are fallen people, creatures of Adam's race. And we have died in Adam to live under Christ as long as we accept the provision. We can look at several more points here, but the the real great proclamation that just sums it up is the 23rd verse, when it says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Once again, Paul reaches out and he says, Everyone is in the path of destruction. You can't get away from it. You can't run from it. You can't hide from it. You can't climb out of it in any way. We've all tried that in some way. But Paul says, we all are fallen creatures apart from Jesus. There is no exception. There is no other way but through Jesus Christ. And that is why he goes in the next verse we want to claim as we conclude our thought this morning that they are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. And what we see there is we see the justification. Notice it only comes by the grace of God through the redemption of Jesus in giving his life at the cross that we can avoid complete and total disaster. When you believe that, When you believe that, claim that by faith, when the hurricane comes, you're protected. You've got divine protection. You've got the blood of Jesus around you everywhere. The enemy will say, no, you're not protected. All you've got to do is claim faith in the work of the Lord Jesus, 
and you are justified in Christ Jesus. Jesus looks at us and declares us pure and holy because he sees through us to Christ who lives in us. And because of that, we can thank him today and praise him that even though we are part of the fallen race, we have fallen just like everyone else, and the ground is level completely in the fallen condition. But we have one more promise we have right here, and that is the ground is level at the foot of the cross. And we can claim this, that, Lord, I thank you that I, just like every other person on the face of the earth, can come to the foot of the cross and there I can find redemption through Jesus Christ. Praise his holy name. Let's thank him and pray as we pray to him this morning. Father God, I just thank you for your amazing truth in the word of God, that we really aren't worthy. We, aren't, we do not have the ability, but through your sacrifice, your perfect, divine, holy sacrifice, we have been declared righteous. And even though judgment is coming on us, we can claim freedom in Jesus that that judgment will not hurt us, that judgment cannot attack us, because we are yours in Christ Jesus, because we have believed in your work and in your grace. And thanks be to God. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.